Hello and welcome to this SQL tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're looking at calculating a percentage of a total, or more specifically in this example, calculating the percentage of total customer spend. So to start off with, let's look at the table we're working with. It's just a simple table created for this exercise. Um, if you do want to follow along within SQL Server Management Studio shortly, I'll also show the values that I inserted. But here's the table structure, um, customer ID, name, transaction date and order amount with the relevant data types. Um, as you can see, fairly simple. We just go through customers um, and the order amount. So what they spent per order, um, nice simple example that will help us understand the concept we're looking at. So this is what we hope to be left with, our expected output. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll actually look at this within SQL Server, so you don't need to worry too much right now. But what we want is that initial base table, or three columns from it, the customer ID, name, and order amount. And then we want to get these two columns, customer total and customer percentage. So we're going to obviously look at how we do that. But essentially, as you can see, I've put some lines to segregate. By customer ID, let's say number one, at the very top, we have the total. So that is simply just the sum of all those order amount values within that partition. And from there, we can actually calculate their percentage spend by each order amount. So you can see we got 5,000, so we can calculate the percentage spend of 17,000 is 28%. Now we wouldn't worry too much about those decimal places, we just want correct figures. We can sort that out in the presentation layer. So here we go, as I said before, if you do want to follow along, you can just pause here and we'll go through the process. We'll drop the table if it exists, otherwise we'll create our table customer transactions. And then we also have our insert values, again, the same column names, um, and here's some values, just sample customer data and order amounts. So feel free to pause here, uh, copy this. At some point, I will update these sorts of scripts on my website so there's easy access. But for now, you can just pause and copy it if you do want to follow along, or you can use this logic in another example. So we can go ahead and query the customer transactions table. And there we go. Um, as before, we have our customers, the name, I do have transaction date here as well and the amount. Normally we may join together different tables to get to this point, but this is just a nice simple example um, for the sake of the exercise. Okay, so let's look at how we can query from our base table um, and append on those customer total and customer percentage um, columns within our query results. So we need the customer ID, customer name and order amount. And then within here, we use the sum function and in this case, that's the sum of the order amount with the over clause. And by using this window function, um, and because the over clause does not contain the order by clause, the sum function will just return the total amount for the partition or subset that we specified. In this case, customer ID. Then we can take the row that we're on within our, within our query, and we can divide this using that forward slash arithmetic operator um, by the total and then we get the percentage again of the total that's in that current partition so this will make more sense and you can replicate this this piece of code um, as we execute the query so here we go Now you can see that everything is segregated within the partition by the customer ID, which is what we wanted. Now the customer total is just a pure sum of all the order amounts for that customer ID. So in the case of customer ID one, we have four orders and they equate to the 17,000 and so on total. Now within the customer percentage, it's also worth noting that this takes the percentage of each order amount by the customer total. You'll notice there is a bit of trailing numbers after the decimal, but we just want correct figures. We can rectify this within our presentation layer, maybe within our BI tool. So that doesn't matter. The importance there is the accuracy. So that's a pretty simple way to uh, demonstrate how we can get the percentage of a total. And as usual, if you like the content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.